Hey there, friends, Nibs again. Out in the garage, doing a little bit of goofing around this afternoon. Pretty uh, crummy day outside, really cold. Uh, it's been snowing and blowing the last couple days. Now everything's all iced up, so I'm going to keep it inside for today. Stay nice and warm, but I wanted to do a couple of videos for you guys. And uh, this one's going to be a head-to-head -head challenge. A couple of old uh, Crossman 22 caliber guns, very different uh, platforms, but uh, both of them are... Uh, one's from the 50s, one's from the 60s, so um, the one that, uh, first one we're going to shoot, well, that's the first one we're going to shoot, the first one we're going to look at is my Crossman. This is actually a Montgomery Wards Hawthorne Model 130 Pump Up 22 caliber. Really cool gun. Those were made in the early 50s. And then the other one, which is the newer comer to the garage, is my Crossman Mark 1, which is a CO2 powered single shot uh, 22 caliber target pistol. And uh, you can see that those are modeled after the uh, Ruger <clears throat> Mark 1 or type pistols uh, very closely, and uh, that's where they got their name from. So we're going to go ahead and shoot. I want to show you the. I'm going to shoot. Some smaller bullseyes. I've been using these larger uh, Birchwood KC shooting C's, um, and uh, but I wanted to try something that would give a little bit more challenge. So I've got these smaller uh, Allen brand shooting C's. The center dot's still going to be the ten, and then the outer black first out black ring will be a nine, eight, and then a seven. So. A uh, little bit more challenging, uh, a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit harder to score a perfect, uh, perfect 50. But uh, I think both these pistols are up to shooting uh, very accurately at at those little or smaller bullseyes. The Mark One, even though I have had it for quite a while out here in the garage, is the new. The newer arrival into the garage so we'll go ahead and shoot that one first this is one that I had to uh, rebuild I use one of Henry Ford's kits and uh, it's done a wonderful job it's really uh, been able to hold air very well I haven't shot this one in quite a while so it did need a new co2 I think I had used it up the last time I shot it, so I don't think it was because it bled out. I think it was because I had used up all of the CO2 uh, from the last time I shot it. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Uh, I did a couple of test shots just to make sure where my point of impact was with these, and they're both shooting very well. This is the older version. Um, if you notice, it has this little screw right here. That allows you to adjust your... Uh, shot uh, strength you can adjust the amount of co2 used in each shot and uh, they're thereby adjusting your foot per second and that was only on the very oldest ones of these mark ones and the mark twos the 177 version as well which uh, means this was in the early 60s from what i recall So this is this is a great shooting gun. Um, a lot of fun. Ooh, I can't tell if that one broke the edge of the target or not. If it didn't, that'll be a zero. That's no good. That's better. Get them back into scoring. Just uh, I'm using these these Daisy wad cutters. These are really really nice pellets. Really good pellets. I think I've got myself settled down here. 
I hope that one still at least got him a seven on that. Alrighty, so that's not looking too bad except for that one just on the edge. Hopefully that stays in scoring. But let's go ahead and see what we can do with the... This 130 is a shooting gun too. And you guys know me, I like my guns that can produce their own power. <laughs> was watching I almost won a, uh, a 137 and a 105 yesterday but I got beat out <laughs> so I'm gonna keep on shopping I want to get those the 177 versions of I've got the 106 which is the 22 version the very first pump up pistol that Crossman ever did and then the 130 was the the next variation that came out But I do want to get the uh, 177 versions of them too, which I don't have yet. But I don't like spending... People people are bidding on these guns these days on, on eBay. And... Might have been Vance from <laughs> Flying Can Ranch that was bidding against me. He's a fun guy. Go over and check out Vance Thennis, I believe is his channel name. He calls calls his channel the Flying Can Ranch, but his actual channel name is his, his name. So, but he's a fun guy. Gets a lot of fun uh, air gun stuff. Ooh, pull that one up a little high. One more, let's see. Think the uh, Mark One might have a little bit of problems here. Alrighty, that's some good shooting from the 130. I'll go ahead and pause the video real quick and I'll add those up and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, so I'm back. So that one uh, flyer was a zero and uh, that's unfortunate, and it cost the Crossman Mark I his win here today. But uh, I did take a, a what-if shot. I didn't count it, but I did take a sec, uh, an extra shot at that one. And I did get a 10, but uh, I didn't count that one in. But uh, the Hawthorne the Model 130, he really shot a really nice round. Uh, ended up with a 45. And then, even with that zero, the Mark I did not do terrible. Uh, ended up with a 37 out of a possible 50. And uh, the additional shot actually went right in the bullseye there too. So that would have been a 47 if I had counted that. So, But uh, there you go. The uh, Model 130 gets a win this afternoon. Mark I, a lot of fun to shoot. And... Uh, didn't too bad himself, but uh, we got to give a nice, uh, nice little round of applause to the Crossman 130. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Till next time, have a great day.